Chapter 8 And Jehovah spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron, and say unto him, When thou lightest the lamps, the seven lamps shall give light in front of the candlestick. And Aaron did so. He lighted the lamps thereof, so as to give light in front of the candlestick, as Jehovah commanded Moses. And this was the work of the candlestick, beaten work of gold, unto the base thereof, and unto the flowers thereof, it was beaten work, according unto the pattern which Jehovah had showed Moses, so he made the candlestick. And Jehovah spake unto Moses, saying, Take the Levites from among the children of Israel, and cleanse them. And thus shalt thou do unto them, to cleanse them. Sprinkle the water of expiation upon them, and let them cause a razor to pass over all their flesh, and let them wash their clothes and cleanse themselves. Then let them take a young bullock, and its meal offering, fine flour mingled with oil, and another young bullock shalt thou take for a sin offering. And thou shalt present the Levites before the tent of meeting, and thou shalt assemble the whole congregation of the children of Israel, and thou shalt present the Levites before Jehovah. And the children of Israel shall lay their hands upon the Levites, and Aaron shall offer the Levites before Jehovah for a wave offering on the behalf of the children of Israel, that it may be theirs to do the service of Jehovah. And the Levites shall lay their hands upon the heads of the bullocks, and offer thou the one for a sin offering, and the other for a burnt offering unto Jehovah, to make atonement for the Levites. And thou shalt set the Levites before Aaron, and before his sons, and offer them for a wave offering unto Jehovah. Thus shalt thou separate the Levites from among the children of Israel, and the Levites shall be mine. And after that shall the Levites go in to do the service of the tent of meeting, and thou shalt cleanse them, and offer them for a wave offering, for they are wholly given unto me from among the children of Israel instead of all that openeth the womb, even the firstborn of all the children of Israel, have I taken them unto me. For all the firstborn among the children of Israel are mine, both man and beast. On the day that I smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I sanctified them for myself, and I have taken the Levites, instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel. And I have given the Levites as a gift to Aaron, and to his sons from among the children of Israel, to do the service of the children of Israel in the tent of meeting, and to make atonement for the children of Israel, that there be no plague among the children of Israel, when the children of Israel come nigh unto the sanctuary. Thus did Moses and Aaron and all the congregation of the children of Israel unto the Levites, according unto all that Jehovah commanded Moses touching the Levites, so did the children of Israel unto them. And the Levites purified themselves from sin, and they washed their clothes, and Aaron offered them for a wave offering before Jehovah, and Aaron made atonement for them to cleanse them, and after that went the Levites in to do their service in the tent of meeting before Aaron and before his sons, as Jehovah had commanded Moses concerning the Levites, so did they unto them. And Jehovah spake unto Moses, saying, 
This is that which belongeth unto the Levites. From twenty and five years old and upward, they shall go in to wait upon the service in the work of the tent of meeting. And from the age of fifty years, they shall cease waiting upon the work, and shall serve no more, but shall minister with their brethren in the tent of meeting to keep the charge, and shall do no service. Thus shalt thou do unto the Levites, touching their charges. End of chapter 8 Chapter 9 and Jehovah spake unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, in the first month of the second year, after they were come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Moreover, let the children of Israel keep the Passover in its appointed season. In the fourteenth day of this month, at even, ye shall keep it in its appointed season, according to all the statutes of it, and according to all the ordinances thereof shall ye keep it. And Moses spake unto the children of Israel that they should keep the Passover, and they kept the Passover in the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month, at even, in the wilderness of Sinai. According to all that Jehovah commanded Moses, so did the children of Israel. And there were certain men who were unclean by reason of the dead body of a man, so that they could not keep the Passover on that day. And they came before Moses and before Aaron on that day. And those men said unto him, We are unclean by reason of the dead body of a man. Wherefore are we kept back, that we may not offer the oblation of Jehovah, in its appointed season, among the children of Israel. And Moses said unto them, Stay ye, that I may hear what Jehovah will command concerning you. And Jehovah spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If any man of you, or of your generations, shall be unclean by reason of a dead body, or be on a journey afar off, yet he shall keep the Passover unto Jehovah. In the second month on the fourteenth day, at even, they shall keep it. They shall eat it with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. They shall leave none of it unto the morning, nor break a bone thereof, according to all the statute of the Passover, they shall keep it. But the man that is clean, and is not on a journey, and forbeareth to keep the Passover, that soul shall be cut off from his people, because he offered not the oblation of Jehovah in its appointed season. That man shall bear his sin." And if a stranger shall sojourn among you, and will keep the Passover unto Jehovah, according to the statute of the Passover, and according to the ordinance thereof, so shall he do. Ye shall have one statute, both for the sojourner and for him that is born in the land. And on the day that the tabernacle was reared up, the cloud covered the tabernacle, even the tent of the testimony. And at even it was upon the tabernacle as it were the appearance of fire until morning. So it was alway. The cloud covered it and the appearance of fire by night. And whenever the cloud was taken up from over the tent, then after that the children of Israel journeyed, and in the place where the cloud abode, there the children of Israel encamped. At the commandment of Jehovah the children of Israel journeyed, and at the commandment of Jehovah they encamped. As long as the cloud abode upon the tabernacle, they remained encamped. And when the cloud tarried upon the tabernacle many days, 
then the children of israel kept the charge of jehovah and journeyed not and sometimes the cloud was a few days upon the tabernacle then according to the commandment of jehovah they remained encamped and according to the commandment of jehovah they journeyed and sometimes the cloud was from evening until morning and when the cloud was taken up in the morning they journeyed or if it continued by day and by night when the cloud was taken up they journeyed whether it were two days or a month or a year that the cloud tarried upon the tabernacle abiding thereon the children of israel remained encamped and journeyed not but when it was taken up they journeyed. At the commandment of Jehovah they encamped, and at the commandment of Jehovah they journeyed. They kept the charge of Jehovah at the commandment of Jehovah by Moses. End of chapter 9 Chapter 10 And Jehovah spake unto Moses, saying, make these two trumpets of silver of beaten work shalt thou make them and thou shalt use them for the calling of the congregation and for the journeying of the camps and when they shall blow them all the congregation shall gather themselves unto thee at the door of the tent of meeting and if they blow but one then the princes the heads of the thousands of israel shall gather themselves unto thee and when ye blow an alarm the camps that lie on the east side shall take their journey and when ye blow an alarm the second time the camps that lie on the south side shall take their journey they shall blow an alarm for their journeys but when the assembly is to be gathered together ye shall blow but ye shall not sound an alarm and the sons of aaron the priests shall blow the trumpets and they shall be to you for a statute for ever throughout your generations and when ye go to war in your land against the adversary that oppresseth you then ye shall sound an alarm with the trumpets and ye shall be remembered before jehovah your god and ye shall be saved from your enemies also in the day of your gladness and in your set feasts and in the beginnings of your months ye shall blow the trumpets over your burnt offerings and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings and they shall be to you for a memorial before your god i am jehovah your god and it came to pass in the second year in the second month on the twentieth day of the month that the cloud was taken up from over the tabernacle of the testimony and the children of israel set forward according to their journeys out of the wilderness of sinai and the cloud abode in the wilderness of paran and they first took their journey according to the commandment of jehovah by moses and in the first place the standard of the camp of the children of judah set forward according to their hosts and over his host was nashan the son of Amminadab, and over the host of the tribe of the children of Issachar was Nathanael, the son of Zuar, and over the host of the tribe of the children of Zebulun was Eliab, the son of Helon, and the tabernacle was taken down, and the sons of Gershon and the sons of Merari, who bear the tabernacle, set forward and the standard of the camp of reuben set forward according to their hosts and over his host was elizer the son of shedur and over the host of the tribe of the children of simeon was shalumiel the son of zurishadai 
and over the host of the tribe of the children of Gad was Eliasaph, the son of Deol. And the Kohathites set forward, bearing the sanctuary, and the others did set up the tabernacle against their coming. And the standard of the camp of the children of Ephraim set forward according to their hosts, and over his host was Elishama the son of Amihud, and over the host of the tribe of the children of Manasseh was Gamaliel, the son of Pedazer, and over the host of the tribe of the children of Benjamin was Abidim, the son of Gideonai. And the standard of the camp of the children of Dan, which was the rearward of all the camps, set forward according to their hosts. And over his host was Ahiazer, the son of Amishadai. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Asher was Pagiel, the son of Okran. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Naphtali was Ahira, the son of Enan. Thus were the journeyings of the children of Israel according to their hosts, and they set forward. And Moses said unto Hobab, the son of Reuel the Midianite, Moses' father-in-law, We are journeying unto the place of which Jehovah said, I will give it you. Come thou with us, and we will do thee good for Jehovah hath spoken good concerning Israel. And he said unto him, I will not go, but I will depart to mine own land and to my kindred. And he said, Leave us not, I pray thee, for as much as thou knowest how we are to encamp in the wilderness, and thou shalt be to us instead of eyes. And it shall be, if thou go with us, yea, it shall be, that what good soever Jehovah shall do unto us, the same will we do unto thee. And they set forward from the mount of Jehovah three days' journey, and the ark of the covenant of Jehovah went before them three days' journey to seek out a resting place for them. And the cloud of Jehovah was over them by day when they set forward from the camp. And it came to pass, when the ark set forward, that Moses said, Rise up, O Jehovah, and let thine enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee before thee. And when it rested, he said, Return, O Jehovah, unto the ten thousands of the thousands of Israel. End of chapter 10